Why do pilots keep spinning their wings? Hi, I'm Greg and you're getting safer every day. Remember in the last episode we talked about aborted launches? I've had so many submissions from my friends on YouTube that today we've got a smorgasbord of spins. In this video you'll learn how to avoid the hidden killer, how to recognize it's going to go, and what to do with a spinning wing. If you're new here, subscribe and spin that bell for notifications. Leave a comment and you could win a monthly prize. If you want to support the channel and take your learning to the next level, visit flywithgreg.com. Enough chat, let's see them go splat. So what can you do to avoid this? Let's go through that again and I'll talk you through it. This pilot hasn't prepared their wing well and there's a big pressure knot right near the center. What you want to do is make sure when you're preparing your wing on a flat surface like that, that you actually pull each cascade of lines so that you drag the canopy slightly. So you're getting tension on each line. That way you can check that you not, haven't got that hidden killer sitting there in the lines. He's also running down the slope here and he hasn't checked the glider. That's the first time. And that's where you'll see the pressure knot that's bunching up seas and brake lines all together there and slowing the wing down dramatically. And what that does is it causes a spin. You can see there the high angle of attack on that right wing and that slowed it down. It's now stalled and flying backwards. Whack. Very lucky that he's on a snowy slope. This just shows how on an easy soaring day things can go wrong so quickly. So you've got to be careful of your proximity to the terrain. And here he's pointing into wind, so this is normal soaring conditions and what happens is he turns downwind and gets a surprise by how quickly he's approaching the ground. The other thing he's also doing is he's weight shifting away from his turns, which uh, means that the turns are likely to spin. You'll see he straightens up and then leans away from the turn as he's trying to turn it right. So that's the right idea and then now he's leaning away from the turn. So the glider's going to want to spin if you're trying to turn it right and leaning left. He's just come in too close to the ground here. He doesn't actually have much brake on here if you just look at that right hand. It's not far away from the pulley but even so it spins and puts him into the ground. Phew, after that you guys need a bit of a break. Let's have some mellow flying in Colombia on a tequila four.
When you're thermaling, you've got to be careful of flying too slowly. This pilot is doing tight turns, but they're not aggressive turns. They're very flat and he's got a lot of brake on. You can see his brake hands are below the screen, down near his carabiners. And then you get the telltale sign on the outer wingtip there. It's going slack and I spun the wing round to the right. So at that point, as you spin the wing, if you put your hands up immediately, the glider will refly and it'll be quite safe. You can spin about 90 degrees and still be safe. But if after that point, when you're looking at the sky, you can't let the glider go. And when you've got the glider ahead of you and you're looking at the ground, that's the point to release it. Because he keeps a bit of brake on, the glider's rotating very fast and it swings around and collapses in front of him. Then he has a very good reaction right there. He throws his reserve. And at this height, it's a perfect response. If you're below 200 meters and you've lost control of the wing, just throw it. You can work out later why and what happened, but getting that reserve out is really important. And most pilots make a mistake. They try and fix the glider and fight it down to a height where it's too late to throw the reserve. So just throw it out. Good move. So now the reserve starts pulling against the glider and you get that massive pitch forward. Now, if you have got the chance, it looked like he could almost have caught the glider there. That would have been first prize. You're going to get that surge as the reserve opens. You want to reach up your hand and try and grab the fabric. Because now we see what happens. The glider, even though it's a mess, look at that wonderful paraglider. It just opens itself up and wants to start flying again. But now you've got a downplaning situation. And this makes your reserve ineffective because now the glider is pulling down towards the ground and it fights the reserve. And it's trying to speed up your descent and pull you into the ground. Now he's got very few options here now that he's got this twist up in his risers ahead of him, which is a normal situation with a spin. And I would suggest what he could do is to try and wrap the brakes. He's got them in his left hand. He's pulled them back a little bit. But you can see on the trailing edge, there's just not enough brake there to stop this down plane. You need a massive amount of brake. Um, ideally, I would like to try and hold both of the back risers in my hand to stall the back of the glider properly. But it's very hard given what he's got here. Man, he's lucky that tree was there. It would have been a hard impact. And that tree just saved him, saved his bacon. So great to see that he's okay and very good response throwing reserve. So be careful of those slow turns, guys. They can catch you out when you're having a nice day. And the next thing you know, you're in the trees. What you need to practice is finding your spin point. If you know somebody who will benefit from this video, share it. To improve your skills at keeping your wing in the green zone, check out In Control on flywithgreg.com. Have you ever spun your wing? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any accident footage you'd like to share, email greg at flywithgreg.com. I'll see you next time when we discuss whatever you send me. Fly safe.